So the message to the Palestinians is clear. Engage in meaningful, sincere peace talks with Israel or suffer the consequences. But the PLO, frankly, does not want peace with Israel, does it? It wants to degrade and destroy Israel. That is its mission. Therefore, all the Trump administration is doing is exposing the PLO for what it is, an anti-Semitic terrorist organization. Joining me now on the Daily Ledger, page 5B, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, seems to me what this administration is doing with the Palestinians, the PLO in particular, is kind of a, a slow squeeze. Many things have transpired uh, signaling to the Palestinians, hey, get to the bargaining table. But if you'd step back and you look at the big picture, you have moving the, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Of course, the PLO uh, didn't want that. We have an end of UN monies, US money, but through the UN to the Palestinians. Uh, that's another. Now we have the closing of this mission in Washington, D.C. Seems to me the message is very clear to the Palestinians. Graham, it's so appropriate on the anniversary of the horrific 9-11 attacks on American soil that we're having this discussion. President Trump is doing what no previous American president has done, which is talk peace or we're going to cut off the checkbook. And the Palestinians are furious with him because they've been blackmailing every single president before President Trump on both sides of the aisle and getting away with it. For the first time, Graham, we have an American president that says, talk peace or I'm going to take away your money, meaning the money we're giving you that you, Palestinian Authority, are spending on terrorism. Graham, just last week they named another martyr square in the West Bank after a martyr that tried to kill Israelis. They're still doing the pay for slay program. I think it was $350 million last year that was paid out to people that kill, kill Israelis. Trump said face to face to Mahmoud Abbas in the White House, stop it or we're not gonna give you any more money. Right. And for the first so, time, there's an American president that follows up on his word. All right, but what now, Barry? I mean, it, it seems as though the Palestinians are kind of cornered. They're getting hemmed in. Of course, what Israel is doing to uh, physically hem them in, but politically uh, hemmed in here as well. And we know what the uh, terrorists do when they're cornered. They, they push the button, they blow up, they, they get into some sort of fight. Is this gonna trigger a war? You know, you can't continually play the game of uh, the apologists of the past. Never ever in history worldwide has appeasement worked. American presidents have been appeasing the Palestinians for 30 years and it hasn't worked. There's still bombings, there's still missiles, there's still infiltrations with explosives. Look. All they have to do is say, okay, we'll talk peace, right. and bingo, the checkbook comes out again. I mean, that's not a big thing to ask, is it? Let's make peace. You and the Israelis sit at the table. And Mahmoud Abbas said, absolutely not, and has rejected the American peace plan from Donald Trump that Donald Trump hasn't shown anybody yet, and it's been rejected categorically. That's craziness. And the Israelis, of course, are saying no to a two-state solution because that, in the end, would be the death to Israel. The bottom line is we have a president of the United States that is showing great fidelity to the only democracy in the Middle East, and that is Israel. Barry, thank you.